Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for always being there for me. For the subscribe, for the ones liking and commenting and sharing of my post, I so much appreciate you all. Each and every one, every one of you out there, both the ones in UAE and the ones in Nigeria, I do appreciate everything you guys are doing. It's not easy. Welcome back once again. So guys, um, today I'm gonna um, uh, to share with you some couple of lessons, uh, things I have learned so far from um, from this popular man in the, from the from the eastern part of Nigeria. Happens to come from Newi to be precise. Cosmos Maduka Koscharis, yeah, the CEO of Koscharis uh, Moto. Uh, it's well popular in Nigeria. Yeah, in the east to be precise. Yeah. So why I would like to shed some light or to share with you all um, about this man today. It's because um, I've got some couple of things in common with that man. Not by the level of, you know, where the man did today, no. But from his background, where he's coming from, where he came from, his childhood and everything. I've got some couple of things in common with him. I wish I would like to motivate you all out there that have similar experience. Or maybe you are going through the same situation. Deep down in your mind or your heart, you'll be like, ah, there is no hope. This, that, yeah, because of, yeah, I'm not educated because I'm, you know, I just have my own level in an uh, educational background. So I cannot be able to go to Dubai or to go to US or to go to Canada or to go to any part of the world or to, you know, involve yourself in a society or stuff like that simply because of your educational background. Hi, come on, don't let your background Put your back on the ground. That's one of the quotes which I learned from a good friend of mine some couple of years back. Until today, I still maintain that very quote. And it has helped me in my life until when I came across with this man. Ah, this one I'm sweating. Yeah. Ah, oh my goodness. So, <laughs> so until when I came across with this very man, Koscharis Motors. Now, guys. This man have really motivated me so far. Like, to be honest with you, this man, his stories has really motivated. I have got many of his quotes, many of his videos on my phone. But this very one, I would like to share with you guys. I would just like to play the video first. After that, I will now continue. Yeah. Is there anybody in this room that did not go beyond elementary three in school and lost his father at the age of four. If there's one person, stand up. Is there anybody? Okay, fine. I am the one. So don't be surprised. You're going to get some grammatical error as I speak. But the problem with many of you that are sitting here is the school you went to that really created your problem. People like me didn't have the opportunity you have to go to school, but everywhere I've been in life is a school. It's about whether you are willing to learn or you are not willing to learn. It's about your mindset, the way you think, and the things that motivate you. So this is one of the schools. People like Leke are people I listen to. I've listened to him one time so many years ago when he was in uh, Day Stars and uh, took that subject on economy and I, people, it's people like this I steal their ideas. Many of you read books every day. You take book and read it and read it and read it and then looking for the next convention, the next miracle, the next book you are going to read but you don't have wisdom because you never put into practice the things you are learning. Knowledge is important but will never take you anywhere. You need a wisdom. Wisdom is application. To put into action the things that you have learned. So, people like me never had the opportunity you have. But as a young man that didn't have any formal education, have no reason, no pedigree to be successful in life, God, for some reason, called me into this body of Christ to be able to let you know that Bible is not a history book, that it is still as fresh as it is when it is written to today. 
So, give me your undivided attention as I take you in a little journey. I'm, and I'm going to do it by taking this book that many of you, this is the first book I learned how to read. And I'm telling you honestly truth that the best, the worst subject I had was English. It troubled me when I was three, four years ago. For, for when I was three years, five years, it's still troubling me to today. But the reason why I never really bother is that God wants to use people like me to wake you up from your slumber. My mother never spoke English to me, so she spoke vernacular to me, losing my father at the age of four. I used to go, when I go to school then, you know, if you put, if, before the, 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 the master finished setting uh, arithmetic, we call it then, I, I dropped my book. My brain is sharp to catch it. But the day of dictation is the day I go to school late. <laughs> because I don't want anybody to catch me. So, but you major on the things you do not have. But people like me major on the things that goes right in my life. So I forget about the things that do not go right in my life because no one single person have it all. In each of every one of us, there's a little of every one of us. That's why the Bible says every joint supply. Just understand that you are not a biological accident. There's reason why God brought you here on the earth. And if there's another person that would have taken your place, you could not have come. Because there are one million germs that fought in your father's when he discharged it to your mother. And you are the one that won, that caught life. So you are one in a million. You have been winning all your life, but you need to win even here physically. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I learned the principle of this book. That's why I sang that song. It's my everything. Listen, for some of you who do not know, when you go to a store to buy a product, I don't care whatever the product is, when you buy that product, the first thing they do is that they package the product very well, put the product down on the box of the package, then put the, the, the gadgets to operate it, the final thing you see when you open that book, bad product is a little book, and that book is the manual. The manual is what explains to you what you, are, what you got, what you are going to do out of it, how to operate it. Some of us, Nigeria, that's where we all greet it, is that as soon as we take the product, we throw the packet away, Including the, there is a little slip outside of the outside of the the manual that is called warranty paper, and then you need to fill that warranty paper and send it back to the manufacturer. That warranty paper is how the manufacturer know you are using the product, and that product connects you back to the manufacturer. The manufacturer put you in his system. When he see you fill that form, he knew his product at you. By reading the manual, you know what demand you are going to be making on the product. But some of us throw the packet away. Sometimes he say, this is 110 volts. You plug it in 240 volt. Boom. The next thing you say, this thing doesn't work. Because you did not follow instruction of the manual. Who is the manufacturer of human being? What is God's manual? This is the manual for life. This is the school I went. This is the Facebook I learned how to read. And that's why I can stand here without this Bible. I can take three chapters or four chapters in this book and read it word to word. Because I was a young man when I came in contact with the person of Jesus Christ at the age of 14 plus. And my mind was open. I used to sleep in a small shop, you know, in Bobo Stop there, 88 Griffey Street, where they are dump orange in the front of our shop, without air condition, without fan. But Aleke has talked to you about the power of visualization and imagination. At the age of 15, not 15 actually, because 
I got settled by 15. I was under 15. 14, 13 years plus, 14 years plus. Because people like me are those kids you say they were abused. I, I sat, the death of my father brought unprecedented discipline upon my life that by the age of seven, I was already hawking on the street, supporting my mother. Those kind of kids you say they were abused. I used to be one of them. Okay? Um, I became a breadwinner. Don't complain about the things that goes wrong in your life. Adversity is nothing but a refining fire that burns out impurities in your life. Because Job said, when I am dry, I shall comfort like God, purify it. But the power of imagination is all that matter than every other thing. That's why, you know, I was here screaming, raising my hand, and some of you will be wondering what is wrong with this guy. The real truth is that I was 14 years when I passed age 11 building, going to Idomoto Park to enter bus, to enter bus to go to Newe with Awalawala. Awalawala is a bus where a, 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 a tipper kind of transportation system, where you sat on a bench, your leg is not on the ground, you are suspended at the top. And when the motor enter gallop, the thing throw you up <laughs> and you land on the floor. If it's running, they put tarpaulin on top of you and somebody can mess there and then you are on your own because there's nowhere the thing goes up there. Those are the kind of life we live. But I was passing at that age, 11 years. I pointed at that building. I said, one day I'm going to make a building like this. The man that was escorting me cock, cock my head because he could not imagine a boy that is sleeping in a shop at that age. He's seeing age 11 years building. Hallelujah. The first building I made in Lagos is in Adiolo Deku. Number six, Adiolo Deku, Adiolo Deku and Akia Adenshola. Go and look at that building and compare it with AG Leventis building. A vision is something that is you are bound to speak. It may tarry. But if you hold consistently on your faith, you will live to see the glory of God upon your life. Welcome back, guys. So I believe we must have learned some couple of things from this man. He's now a billionaire. If you don't know Koscharis, just try to Google about him. Koscharis Motors. You will know. That man will not be small picking anymore. Now, why I would like to, or why I wanted to bring this man, his topic, to this discussion today, is simply because of, um, I've received some couple of messages, a couple of times, uh, people asking me, yeah, hey, bro, please, can you help me to know if it's possible? I'm just an O-level this one, I don't have higher, higher this one certificate, also ever university certificate. This and that, I just, I stopped at secondary school, I stopped at um, um, uh, level this and that, uh, O level and all that. Hey, my brother, my sister, it doesn't matter. Hope you have heard from this young man. I mean, not even young man, this uh, is Charis. Hope you heard from him. He stopped at elementary three, which is, uh, what, what in the column? Uh, primary three. Primary three. And today, he has a doctorate degree, even without going to school. <laughs> and today, he can, you know, he can interact with his customers, interact with everyone, both the white and the black. Now, I'm not trying to encourage you that education is not the key or education is not good or whatsoever. No. But I'm trying to give the ones that couldn't, that didn't have the opportunity to go to school hope that they shouldn't lose hope in life remember that is my point i'm not trying to let you know that this and that people are pro you know people are progressing without educational certificate or whatsoever no that's what i'm that's really what i'm here for brother i'm here for the ones that didn't have the opportunity not the ones that are in school currently they have everything at platter of gold they i mean the money is there to sponsor them this and that and they quit because they want to become a musician or whatsoever no I'm here for the one that didn't have the opportunity. Just like this man, Koscharis. He lost his father at age, uh, he was at, uh, I think, seven years old, yeah, when he lost his father. So that's a, these, are the, these are the kind of people that I'm here for, to let them know that there is hope for you, even without educational 
certificate or without whatsoever you didn't know you don't know how to speak or what you can interact and all that there is hope for you yeah just like Kosari said it depends on you you if you really wanted to succeed in life now wisdom be the you know see education actually give you the knowledge but not the opportunity no it's just for you to acquire more knowledge that's why you're going to school you're not going to school, so once you come out immediately, you have a job at the of God. No, you will go there to have the knowledge. You understand? With the one you have, then you move on with life, you will progress and all that. So, I'm really here for the one that didn't have the opportunity. So, coming to UAE without any educational certificate or whatsoever, you will still prosper, just like the one that came with educational certificate. That is life. My former company, I've got a colleague of mine, uh, one from Nigeria, the other one from Uganda. Yeah. The other one from Uganda, the other one from Nigeria. It's no joke. I'm not trying to make up a story here. Those are my colleagues from my former companies. The salary was the basic 4,365 dirhams, which is equivalent of Naira, 500 and something thousand Naira, that is per month. That is basic. Your incentives are not there. The commission and the target, those things are not there. These are the best, these are the basic, your basic, which is no matter how the market gonna be, whether you sell or you no know sell, you are getting your four thousand, which is five hundred thousand naira or more. That is it. Without educational certificate, those guys were in the same company with me, and in the same money with me, with the ones with certificate. You so you see life. So it doesn't really matter whether you have or, but if you have, Oga, it's a treasure. I must be honest with you. It's a treasure. Yeah. If you have and you are planning to come over here, you know what you're going to do? Go and attest your certificate. It matters a lot too. Yeah. Your certificate matters a lot. For Nigeria, it might not really matter much because there is no opportunity there for you to. Yeah, but over here or any part of the world, your certificate, your educational certificate matters so much. It matters a lot in the society. So don't use because of the situation in Nigeria that you will be like, ah, yeah, education is useless. It is scam in Nigeria. Yeah, education is scam. School is a scam. Yeah, my, my certificate is nothing because I couldn't get a job with it. Yeah. Okay, don't do that rubbish. If you're really planning to move from Nigeria, You've got a very huge opportunity that your SAT would fetch you. So hold it very strong and try to attest your certificate before coming over. Or not, not, not just here, any part of the world. If you have the certificate to attest it at Abuja, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, I think it's 3005. The last time I went there to attest my couple of my documents. Three, five, or five thousand naira. I mean, it depends on the person on the on seat that day. So that is it. And also, if you are coming to Dubai, you have to go to Dubai Embassy as well, UAE Embassy. It's just next to Ministry of Foreign Affairs at Abuja. Yeah, you just attest it there as well. So these are the two attestation which they will need for any certificate you are coming here with. Even your marriage certificate for the ones that are married already, you come in here with your wife or with your husband. You need your you need to attest your marriage certificate as well yes so those are the things which are necessary for you to do before coming over here but if you don't have any of those sat don't disturb yourself don't worry yourself just like mr madoka said everything depends on you if you really wanted to succeed in life so you, you got the point now so that is it it's very simple so it depends on you it, it doesn't depend on your certificate your certificate will never fetch you your job it depends on you for you to, you know, to step up, step out of your comfort zone, then before the job will come. So it's a very simple thing to do. So uh, your certificate is there to help, but it's not a guarantee for you to become a successful person in life or in a society. No, but you will be there to help. That is it. So for the ones that didn't have the opportunity to go to school or to acquire some couple of certificates out there, don't worry yourself, don't disturb yourself. It's not too late. Yes, and you can still make it in life. You can still make it in Dubai. You can still make it in any part of the world, even without a certificate. That is it. Because here, in UAE, 
Yeah, in most places, I mean, they prefer skills, just like in Canada, what you can be able to do with your hands, not what you can be able to do with your certificate. What am I even saying? Even most certificates from Nigeria are fake. It's no joke. I have a friend of mine that went to Porta Court, whatsoever. <laughs> look, I look good. <laughs> look, I look good there. Like I look good there. So, you understand? So, these are the things, my brother. We know where we come from now. You understand? Anybody can arrange anything. You understand? Yeah. So, but if you have your start, I beg, hold on very strong. It matters a lot too. And it might fetch you some cash. You understand? Abby? If you don't have, that is it. So, I'm actually here for this. So, and I believe um, you will definitely enjoy this uh, speech from uh, this doctor, um, Cosmos Maduka. Cause Charis Motors, yeah. So that is it, guys. I, I, I'm really sweating, you know. Eh? Hey, wahala day, wahala day. So if you um, um, that is it, you guys. Uh, thank you very much. I've ended this particular talk. So right now, I'm only here to I'm just to thank you guys for everything you've been doing for me, helping my career, helping this business, this brand. Thank you very much. I really appreciate. It. And keep on sharing sharing my post. And I beg do notification button in case when i will put something you just you understand so you get the alert so that is it guys thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you very much and i must appreciate um some of my uh subscribers in dera like the ones i met the other day that was today no no yesterday now yeah guys thank you very much no nabi say i don't do gross much more i really appreciate even now people can actually recognize me on the way and be like hey mazi mazi and i'll be like ah who knows me here I understand. So thank you guys. Now because of you all, thank you. I really appreciate. So this is it, guys. Um, we are not just um, a YouTubers whatsoever. We are here for business. We do visa ticketing as well as well as helping you to secure a job here and also get accommodation for you, either flat, either partition or bed space. It can be any. We can help you to secure a job. We can we can actually help you to do and even airport pickup. We are as in we do everything. Yes. And see, this is a registered company in Nigeria. It's no joke. Yeah, it's no joke. It's a it's a registered company. So make you no fear. And we are here to stay. So make you no fear. Giving us your money to book ticket for you or to make visa for you, thinking that I've never seen this guy before. How will I send him money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not new because deep down, God knows hey, I never feel misbehave. Only the money I'm getting from YouTube can never allow me to misbehave with people's money. So I'm here for business. I'm here to sat satisfy you all, my both subscribers and my customers and clients out there. You understand? So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it.